Hi, everybody. It's Friday, November 24, 2023. Hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. Good morning and welcome to Against the Public. I'm Dana Lane. We're the only show that combs through early betting patterns by the public, tells you exactly where you might want to steer clear of early public opinion. Today, we've identified three NBA games where I think the, where I think the early public betting trends are misguided. Uh, but that's good news because in all three, it's given us good uh, or better numbers to put our money behind. But first, before we get to that, guys, I'm Pick Dogs right now. Another winning night last night. I still have my Friday college football three-pack locked in, $54.99. That package comes with our Pick Dogs win guarantee that says you must profit or we'll give you an immediate site credit for the purchase price. Also available, you guys know I'm the number one college football handicapper, so take that into the last week of the college football regular season. Over 1,500 units won this season. Over the last 30 days, my customers have won uh, over 63% of their wagers, 1,355 units of profit, eight and four last week. So we're gonna duplicate that again this week, put more money into your bankroll. I've also cut my college football season pass by 100 bucks, so you can get the rest of the regular season, you get the uh, championship games, the bowl season, and of course the national championship game just for $2.99. My 30-day all-access pass uh, loaded up as well, $399.99 or my 90-day pass for $869, which comes out to $9.66 a day. Okay, so let's get to our free games on Friday, starting with uh, and this is all games in the NBA, all games that start at 8 o'clock Eastern time, 565-566, Sacramento Kings versus the Minnesota Timberwolves, Minnesota minus 4.5, 229.5. We've seen 79% of the money uh, this morning coming in on the Wolves, uh, pushing this number up from 3.5 to that 4.5 that we're currently at now. Uh, this is the best start, and you guys you guys know this, you watch the NBA, this is the best start that Minnesota's had in its history, especially at home where they're undefeated at 7-0. This is a little bit of a pe peculiar number to me. I was hoping to get a little bit better, maybe not 5.5 to 6 range, but we're going to have to work with the 4.5. Uh, we saw the Kings drop two straight against New Orleans, so I thought this was going to really kind of jack that number up because I've had this game circled for a couple days. I uh, didn't do it. The uh, the odds makers didn't fall for that, so we're still dealing with that four and a half. I'm gonna. I'm still counting on the Kings. Uh, their three-point shooting when they are hot or as good as anybody in the league. I think we're going to see a bounce-back effort against Minnesota. Uh, I, I'd love to be getting more points in this game, but we're just simply not. But I'm going to take the Kings minus 4.5, and, and I think this is going to be a real tight game where we're going to need every bit of those 4.5 points. Game number two. Uh, 567, 568, Denver Nuggets minus 3, 214.5 on the road against Houston. Man, when was the last time we saw a defending champion at Houston, uh, who has been great against a number this year, by the way. Um, but just kind of in our thinking, you know, we're looking at a defending champion going to Houston, who is notorious, notoriously bad. So uh, it's, a, it's a strange number. But um, I had Denver as a two-point favorite. Uh, we were looking at taking, I was looking at taking Houston. Uh, so we're getting three here. I thought, yeah, pay, maybe we'll get, we'll get more uh, just because of public perception. That didn't happen. 62% uh, of the spread tickets are on Denver, but this number has stayed put. And maybe the books are really hoping they're going to get some Denver no, uh, money on this. Uh, maybe that they, they have a stance on this game. Uh, you can see that this certainly is not the same team, especially defensively without uh, Jamal Murray in the lineup. They're coming up. They're coming off a five-point loss to Orlando where they gave up 124 points. They've now given up 120 points or more in two of their last three games. And remember last year on the way to winning that championship, it was all about defense. I and mean, yes, the, uh, the focus was on uh, their superstars, but obviously defense defense was uh, the unsung hero of them getting rings, and that just is not the case this year. Uh, they were 5-3 and three against the spread at the start of the season. They now have dropped seven straight games against the spread, so uh, there's nothing there that makes me want to take Denver in this. Uh, the Rockets are just 7-6 and six straight up this year, but 9-3-1 and one ATS. And they've already covered a meeting against Denver this season. So we're going to take, uh, we're going to go right back with Houston in this one, and we're going to take the three points. And then game number three, 
love having the Wizards on my on my card. Eight o'clock Eastern Time, uh, five sixty nine five seventy game number five sixty nine five seventy. Washington Wizards versus the Milwaukee Bucks. Milwaukee minus thirteen and a half, two forty five and a half. This is a classic trip trap game. I could see this coming a mile away. Uh, the numbers manageable. The Wizards are absolute garbage. Uh, plus the Bucks just put up. Of 100, 142 points on, on Washington four days ago. Uh, the problem is, I and we've seen this before, Milwaukee's coming off that loss against the Celtics. Now they have the two worst teams, or I, I mean, I guess you could argue it, but really the two worst teams in the league in Washington and Portland up, up next at home. This is also the first real test for Adrian Griffin because we saw the other night there was a little bit of a spat with Giannis on the sidelines after he took Giannis out uh, after a foul. Let's see what the powers, if there's going to be a power struggle there at any point. But I do see a scenario where this 13 and a half is way too much. And it's not because of anything Washington's going to do. It's just because I think we're going to see the Bucks kind of glide through these next two games. We're going to take... The Washington Wizards plus 13 and a half. 63 percent of the tickets are already coming in on Milwaukee. We're going to go against that and take the Wizards. So that does it for our three games today. Please go to PickDogs.com right now. Get involved with one of my many packages that are available, including my college football three pack. 54.99 comes with our win guarantee or my reduced season pass, just 2.99.99 right now. 30-day all-access pass. That is every play that I put up there. All-access pass, $399.99. Or my 90-day pass, $869. Comes out to $9.66 a day. Let's build that bankroll. Let's end 2023 uh, on a high note. College football is absolutely on fire. So if you get involved in anything, make sure to join me for the rest of the college football season. Let's ju just recap our three plays. All three dogs. Sacramento plus four and a half, Houston plus three, and Washington plus 13 and a half. For Against the Public, I'm Dana Lane. All the best to you and your wagers on Friday.